guys, and welcome to Swami Studios. I am your host, Mon Swami, and I bring you guys another Pokemon X and Y live face cam walkabout battle. Still with the hair, not for long. Still with the hair. I'm facing off against Wesley again, and you guys are going to love this team, so make sure to leave a like for the Fab 5 Plus 1 team. Make sure to let me know what Pokemon you want to see me use to build a team around for a future battle. Has to be a final evolution, but can be any in the game. Including legendaries. I don't care. I have all of them. So he's got a Mamoswine, a Togekiss, a Garchomp, an Aegislash, a Tyranitar, and a Skarmory. Hmm. I'm going to lead off with Jose. Because he doesn't have anything to touch Jose. Nothing. Nothing at all. Let me write down this team real quick. See. Mamo Swine Toga Kiss Gachomp Tyranita Aegislash and Skarmory. Let's do it. Okay, so he's probably going to lead off with Skarmory. He knows my Magic Bounce trick, and because I don't have an Absol, we're probably going to trade Rocks first turn. What I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to try to weaken it so he can't switch out on the first turn. So here comes Jose. Jose, 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 Jose. Jose, Jose. Facing off against Skarmory. 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 I don't have anything to hit this thing super effectively, unfortunately. Um, at least on this fella. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chuck up the stealth cocks real quick, as people call them. Here's the stealth rocks. So we're just going to trade those off. Luckily for me, I don't really have anything uh, that will get. Oh, he's going to whirlwind. Okay. Who's going to come on out? Ooh. Hello there. Hello. What did I get boosted? My evasiveness! What, what got dropped? My speed. Ooh. That sucks. But what I can do is I can set up some spikes! Start withering his team away. It's gonna whirlwind again? No, stealth rocks. Okay. So I can set up more spikes. More spikes. I love Swami. My Makaleli. Makaleli! Makaleli! Nay, nay. Set up more spikes to just dig into his entire team, which is going to be great. He's going to drill peck. Ooh. Hmm. That didn't do much. So here's some more spikes for you, just all over your face. Just all over your face. What got boosted? My speed! What got dropped? My evasiveness. Wow, we're back to square one, eh? Okay. Um, I'm going to disable that move. Yeah, how do you like that? How do you like them apples? Get your drill peck disabled. Hmm. Stealth rocks. But you already used stealth rocks. Okay. No, I'm, it's, it's whatever. Um, I'm going to lay down more spikes. It's going to have to probably whirlwind me out. So. Brave Bird. Oh, well. <laughs> my, my At least my speed is, uh, my defense is boosted. So I'm okay with this. He takes a little bit of damage. A little bit of sunshine for my life. I don't know why I'm in such a good mood to who day. It doesn't really matter either way. Um, One more set of spikes. Oh, whoops. I'm stupid. Okay, so there goes Glalie. Getting blown on out. Who's going to come in? Dusty! <laughs> Homage to Sin with Vengeance, Fengons. And here comes the Flame Orb. Oh, he's screwed. He's bad news bears right now. Here comes a Wild Charge from Dusty to just destroy the Skarmory. There it goes! Look at, look at Dusty go, man. 
So there goes the Skarmory. And he's going to switch into just ridiculous amount of hazards. So Dusty's not going to live much longer, unfortunately. But, you know, it, it, it is what it is. What's going to come in to take all of this ridiculous amount of damage? I don't think he wants anything to take this damage, and he doesn't have a, uh, a rapid spinner on his team. Here comes Tyranitar. I'm sorry, Tyranitar. Just going to get destroyed by this. That's the Stealth Rocks. And there's the Spikes. That's the Spikes I like to see. And I don't think Tyranitar is faster than Dusty. So what I'm going to go for is a Superpower. If he is, I'll be shocked. I, I won't be shocked. Tyranitar is ridiculous. Even though Dusty should be faster. Okay, there's the Mega. I think it got. I think it gets slower with the Mega. Here comes the Superpower. Come on! Finishes off the Tyranitar. You go, Dusty. Proud of you, kid. So I'm going to take damage from the Sandstorm and from the Flame Orb, uh, from the Burn. But, damn, Dusty putting in that work takes out the Mega Titar. So that's a major threat gone. Good job, Dusty. I'm proud of you. Here's what it boils down to. If I can get one more good hit with Dusty. Oh, Togekiss? Oh, Togekiss is going to get destroyed. Take those Stealth Rock damage. Uh, I'll just wild charge it. Oh, extreme speed. Oh, shit. Well, that should finish off Dusty, considering... Yeah. I've never faced... I don't think I've ever faced an extreme speed Togekiss. When can Togekiss learn extreme speed? It's a life orb Togekiss? Wow, it's just a normal level up. I had no idea. It's, it's attack is terrible, though. So, here comes in... Swame. Swame. Gonna go in for the kill with the explosion. Go for the explosion, Swame. Go for the explosion! No! Yes! How? I have no idea! Here's the explosion! Will it kill it? Yes it will, Swami, I love you. I love you, Swami. I love myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There goes Togekiss. So he's got a Garchomp, a Mamoswine, and an Aegislash left. No matter what he brings in, it's gonna get destroyed by Jose. That Aegislash is gonna take ridiculous damage. <laughs> Ridiculous. Sorry about that. F Pokemon Fab Five business. Working on scheduling videos and stuff. So what is he going to bring in now? He's, he's stuck between a rock and a hard place at the moment. So, you know. You know, yellow. Yellow. Here comes Jose. Bring in Aegislash. There's the pointed stones, and there is the massive amount of spikes. What I can do to this thing is I can go for a Scald. But do I want to have him deal with this? No, not particularly. But he's already out. Um, Blade will be able to take out the Garchomp because I'm Choice Scarfed. So if I can whittle this thing down with a Scald, then I can win this battle. King Shield? Okay, understandable. How it rolls. How it rolls, Royces. Okay. It's a lefties? Oh, wow. Hmm. 
Stance change! Going for the Sacred Sword, probably. That might kill me. Shadow Sneak. Okay, never mind. This thing is dead. That did a lot of damage. But Scald. Empoleon. Finishes off the Age of Slash. Beautiful hit by Empoleon. And we are down to two. As I take the Life Orb damage. And there goes the Sandstorm. So luckily for me, this Garchomp will not be able to go and do its apeshit thing. Here comes the Mammoth Swine. And this Mammoth Swine is going to be like, yes, I'm going to come on in. I'm going to be like all Mammoth Swiney. But then it's going to be like, oh my god, here comes a Grass Knot or a Scald or whatever's coming in because it just got wrecked by Spikes and Stealth Rocks. So, let's take this Mammoth Swine to town. I'll probably go for the Stab Scald and uh, take this bad boy out. Stab Scald, yeah. EQ! That'll kill me. That should kill me. That ought to kill me. Yep, it'll kill me. Okay. It's whatever. So now this big behemoth of a Pokemon is standing in front of me. And I have nothing to hit it. JK, I have JPP. <laughs> JK! I have JPP. And I technically have herpes. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I do have the Pokemon Herpes. But, here, here he comes. The shiny Venusaur to take on this Mamoswine. I'm going to put it to sleep. Yeah, I'm going to put it to sleep. Let's see what Venusaur can do, because I don't have a grass attack. Go figure. So, let's see. Is he going to stay in, or is he going to get put to sleep by whatever I have in store for him? And I believe I have Hidden Power Ice. I believe that is what I carry. So... You know, that'll be helpful against the Garchomp if he decides to switch the once it's put to sleep. But he's taking his time, obviously, contemplating what he's going to do. He's going to stay in. I'm going to Mega Evolve. So he might go for an EQ. He might go for an Ice move. The Ice move obviously won't do much because of Thick Fat. EQ. It'll do damage. It shouldn't do enough to do anything real. No, not, not really. There's the Sleep Powder. Put it to sleep. Rest in peace. Mammoth Swine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to seed it now. Start getting my health back. And I'm going to Sludge Bomb it. Even though it won't do too much. It, it avoided the Leech Seed. Are you kidding me, game? <sighs> okay, so there's the Seeds. Take a lot of its health. Thank you very much. JPP needs that. And I'm going to go for a Sludge Bomb here. It's still asleep. Okay. So that's perfect. I'm going to double the damage with the Sludge Bomb. It's not going to do too much, but... Oh, wow. That did a hell of a lot. That wasn't even a crit. And there goes Mamoswine. So it is down to his Garchomp. And that Garchomp is going to be destroyed by Blade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the Hidden Power. I believe it's Ice. Um... If it's not, then JBB is going to go down. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll probably go down either way. But Hidden Power Ice, I think, does times four to the Garchomp, which would be lovely. It would be. Yeah. So, Wesley, time to switch in your Garchomp and to finish this game off. It's shiny. looks ugly as fuck in this game. It's going to get destroyed by those spikes. And here comes the Hidden Power. Will it be enough to finish it off? Draco Meteor. Oh, he's going... Okay, so he's just weakened himself completely, at least especially attacking. To hit this Draco Meteor, which will not kill me. Probably go for physical move next turn. But here comes the Hidden Power. Please tell me it's Ice. Nope, it's Hidden Power Fire. Shit. Okay. Go for the Sludge Bomb. Let's just... Here comes Dragon Claw. Yeah. 
That should be it for JPP. Oh, he survives! The sludge bomb! Gets the sludge bomb off. Not very effective. Okay. Well, this this Garchomp is dead to rights. So, it's gonna Dragon Claw again. There goes Venusaur. Gets the crit. <laughs> Definitely did not matter. And this Garchomp is about to die. Technically, I could bring in Muck. I'll, I'll bring in Muck. Get all the Fab Five members cameo in, and if I can't survive with Muck, then this really is terrible. I could technically Memento, but I'm just going to Shadow Sneak. This should finish it off. So, this was the Pokemon Fab Five battle. I didn't need it. I didn't need to use Flygon so far. I don't think I will, at all. But this Shadow Sneak should take it out. If it doesn't, then I'll Outrage next turn. But either way, come on, come on, Wesley. Come on, my man. Battle is over. Shadow sneaking. Muck. Ah, uh, well. That sucks. Okay, so next turn I'll just go for, like, a poison jab. And technically I could switch in a blade here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, because it has levitate. Okay, blade, come on in. So Muck is gonna survive and not even get really damaged. Blade's gonna get hurt by the stealth rocks, but that's it. Dig does not affect. So Garchomp's just gonna appear back. And here comes an outrage from this very angry, for no reason, Flygon. I guess because he only got this little bit of damage to put, but Flygon's gonna finish this battle off. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Moonlight Swami. This was another great battle. Thank you, Wesley, for another good one. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Moonlight Swami, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Make sure to keep that like rating or place it now if you haven't already. Let me know what Pokemon you want to see in the future to build a team around. Must be the final evolution. Any Pokemon in the game. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Peace. I am.